Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So I'm doing another empties haul. What do I like? What have I repurchased? What am I not repurchasing? If you want to see what I got, here we go. Okay, so I had a lot of interesting things. I kind of branched out this last bit trying different products and kind of getting into things a little different than what I had before. So that's been kind of fun. My biggest one that I absolutely love that was uh, a great one that I have repurchased is the High Smile Teeth Whitening Kit. I did a video on that one and I will link that below. But this High Smile is really, really good. So it did change the color of my teeth, but I have sensitive teeth and usually the whitening products don't really, uh, what do I want to say? They just make my teeth hurt, and then it hurts to breathe, it hurts to drink things. But this High Smile absolutely did a fantastic job changing my teeth color and no pain. So I highly recommend this. The other thing that I have looked at as far as teeth whitening was the Super Smile Original Mint. Now I will say I will not purchase this again. I really didn't notice a difference from anything else as far as my teeth goes. I didn't see them turn whiter. I mean, it was a great toothpaste just for regular toothpaste purposes, but as far as actually working to remove surface stains, eh, I didn't really see a need to repurchase that. So just want to let you know. Another complete fail was the eyebrow powder stencil. So I did not do a video on it. It was just an absolute hot mess. So that, this little bad boy, I mean that the color is good. So to use the powder, that's fine. Um, and it came with a little mirror. That part of it is fine. But this little stencil thing, oh Lord, what a freaking hot mess that was. I just don't recommend stencils. Let's put it that way. Oh, here's the other little stencil. So that was kind of funny. I probably should have done a video on it, but uh, it it was just not a, it was just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. So was cracking up about that. The other, now one that I do like is the Marc Jacobs. This mascara is fantastic. So this mascara goes on really nice. It is absolutely thickening and lengthening and when i wear it i feel like it, i look like i have false lashes without having to put false lashes on so i have repurchased this this has definitely um, become one of my staples i think it's worth the money so if you haven't tried the mark jacobs mascaras you really need to i just absolutely love it then we had the Wonder 2 Cover Proof 24 Hour Flawless Coverage. I never wear my makeup for 24 hours, but I really did like this. And the powder that goes with it was pretty remarkable. And that was the Perfect Selfie. I actually hit pan on the Perfect Selfie powder. I typically don't hit pan because I'm always trying something new. So I have a lot of products that kind of pile up but this one was one that I actually hit pan on so I do love those products another one was the Derma Doctor DD cream I did another video on that I think if your skin is really uh, maybe doesn't have a lot of color in it maybe a little bit flawless this would be a great one and it does have sunscreen in it so this could be a great uh, BB cream excuse me DD cream that you could use especially if you're younger because typically younger skin doesn't have maybe some of the redness the patchiness etc so that was kind of a fun one to purchase and try a fail for me was the milk makeup this was the holographic stick i did buy this at the end of 2016 I had tried it once and meant to get back around to using it again. So when I tried to pull this back out to, to check it out and look at it, because I do love holographic colors, just, it went bad. It 
oh my gosh, it just absolutely smells horrible. So it was really kind of a bummer for me that I didn't use it before I did because it, it went bad sitting there. So not real fun there. Now, one of the products that I just repurchased, got in the mail this week, is the Deep Cleansing Oil from DHC. You can actually order this through their website. Um, I actually ordered it through Amazon because I'm an Amazon junkie. Amazon loves me. Wait, I love Amazon. So I do purchase this through Amazon. I love the way that it feels on the skin as it's breaking up the makeup and kind of working hard to get off whatever I've tried to keep on for 24 hours. So this deep cleansing oil is one of my favorites and continues to be one of my staples. Next I have the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is actually overnight skincare. It says for hydrated and bright skin for all skin types. Okay, this to me wasn't exactly what I had hoped it was going to be. So I'm thinking water mask, you're going to put on it, you're going to feel hydrated and have bright skin in the morning. Eh, it just wasn't that remarkable. I don't know. I just, I like to have my, my skin feel hydrated when I wake up in the morning and this just kind of didn't do it for me. So what I actually did was during summertime and even going into fall, I went ahead and used this product right after I got out of the shower so I could let it soak in. It does soak in really quickly, but I guess because it, it just didn't, it wasn't heavy. It, it's very, 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 very light. And again, I wanted something that had more hydration. But because I do have oily combo skin, sometimes putting on a moisturizer during the summer or the hotter months is hot, harder for me because of my skin. And it just seems like um, the foundation kind of pushes away. This actually did work better for the morning, not night, because it did soak in very quickly. And then I could put my foundation over the top. If you have dry skin, I just, I don't know that I'd recommend it because again, I have oily skin and it just wasn't impressive. Just want to let you know that. <clears throat> now I did try the Deco Miami uh, cuticle oil. This was in the smell of lavender and oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So the smell is wonderful. It soaks in absolutely fantastic. I just absolutely love, love, love this cuticle oil. So I will be purchasing that again when I get through it. So I heard a lot about Tatcha um, on YouTube and that it was kind of um, water, a fresh drink for your skin, etc. And this is actually the water cream. I again wasn't impressed with this. So I guess anything that is a water-based uh, cream or mask or whatever, for whatever reason, I'm just, just not impressed. And again, since I do have the oily skin, I can't recommend this to anyone with dry skin because it just wasn't exciting. Total bummer, total bummer. I did try the Jane Iredell Smooth Affair, and this is a facial primer and brightener. This I, I will not be purchasing again. It, it did okay, but it didn't overwhelm me. It didn't wow me. It didn't make me say, ooh, please purchase me again. Hurry up. Go find me. So it was fun to try, but it wasn't like over the top. I have to have it. It didn't go into my staples, and I like the products really and truthfully that it build kind of that are my staples that I can build off of. I trust the products, but I can also try something new. That just didn't do it for me. The next thing that did not do it for me, oh my gosh, I have a bunch that didn't do it for me, right? Is this Pure Al Attitude. It's an instant re results face lift gel. So you can see I'm not real, real excited about it because it's really, really full. It kind of dries out your skin, so for dry skin people, I would highly not recommend this because you might look like a lizard by the time it's done. But again, it didn't do, it like dried the skin, but I didn't feel like it gave me an instant lift of any type. It just felt like it dried out my skin. 
So wasn't exactly excited about it. That's why I used it a couple times. And I was like, eh, eh, we ain't going there. Next, I will say something positive, right? Because I feel like I just said a lot of, I wasn't impressed with some, a lot of products. So let's go back to, to some that I do feel impressed by. And I did have this in my last haul. So the big sexy hair products are my absolute favorite. So I love this one. It's a spray and play harder. It's for firm volumizing hairspray. I have the most super fine hair known to mankind. I have no body in my hair. If I brushed my hair right now, it would absolutely go flat. It takes a lot to get my hair having any kind of volume and doing anything. Because of that, I trust the Big Sexy Hair products. I really like them. They, they help me keep my hair semi-okay where other products just don't have a hold. So that was kind of a bummer. That isn't a bummer. Most of the products are a bummer. I really like the Big Sexy Hair products. Absolutely like them. The next bit, I'm kind of going back to the other side, which is the um, not exactly excited. The Brazilian Keratin uh, made by Novex. It's a deep conditioning hair mask. So I love masks of all type. I love um, the mask you put on your face. I love the sheet mask and I love masks for your hair. You know, when I thought Brazilian Keratin and deep conditioning hair mask, it's the number one seller in Brazil. Oh my gosh, my hair is going to be amazing, right? No, mm -mm. no. It wasn't any different than most of the drugstore products. So I just was like, okay, the label sold me, but the actual way that it, it executed, no. I did go ahead and use the rest of this container because it was okay. But again, it just didn't like throw me over the edge into beautiful hair and my hair felt fantastic. It was okay so if it was free or inexpensive you know I'd say okay but not that impressed I will go over back to the positive side so the salon perfect is uh, I tried those from one of another youtuber suggestions and I like how they go on they pop on really easy they stay on all day I don't have any issues so these along with uh, the Ardell's this one's a glamour pack, but I do like their wispies also. Those are probably kind of my two go-to Eyelashes when I'm gonna wear false eyelashes. So the salon perfect in the glam go glam multi pack I would highly recommend. I love them. They go on easy. Like I said, they don't pop off. They don't lift They don't do any of that kind of craziness. They just go right on and you're good to go So I'd highly recommend either of those brands now this next product, I didn't think, I was like, I don't know about this. So it's these bad boys. <clears throat> they are lotion infused moisturizing glove by Truist Skin Care. It says it's a small, uh, small, a spa inspired and dermatologist tested rejuvena rejuvenating intensive hydration for your hands. It's infused with vitamins A, B5, E, aloe, avocado, and jojoba. And it has one pair of gloves in there that fit most people. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try this, but I'm sure it's not going to be any big deal. No, it is a big deal. So for anyone that has issues with their hands or their hands drying out, especially if you're in an industry that you got to wash your hands all the time and your hands just feel like they crack or they hurt. Holy mackerel, my hands felt amazing. I, they just did a great, great job. So I am going to keep this actually in kind of my uh, to for future purchase pile because these bad boys really work. My hands felt amazing. So I thought I could actually do like a women's spa day and have uh, the next time I see my aunts or have girlfriends in town and just kind of, you know, as we're sitting around, have a nice little spa bit and those things will be in there. The next product I really liked uh, was 
and I'm probably going to butcher the name of this because I'm good at butchering the name of these things, is Sponge. Sponge. <laughs> Um, this one, I almost said flavor, this flavor is in beach grass. It is beyond cleansing. It kind of comes in a, a loofah, but your washes or your soap, etc. is kind of in it. And you just kind of buff your skin. It is a really light scent, but it's clean, it's refreshing, it's pretty. And again, it's got that light buffer on it. So I've got a couple of these and I really, really like these. I just, I enjoy using these in the shower. So I would repurchase this. Now my sister um, sent me some samples for the Monat Intense uh, Treatment Shampoo and then the Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And at first I was like, okay, here we go. What kind of scam are we doing with some kind of buy online product, right? You know, kind of a multi-level triangle or whatever they call those. So, you know, she sent it to me and I was very thankful to um, have a product to try. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I actually like this stuff. So the Monat actually is fantastic. So I have, um, I'm going to be repurchasing very shortly because I've gone through basically my first bottle. My hair basically when I'm doing, when I'm trying to blow dry it and style it, it just, it blow dries straight. I don't have the wispies. I don't have the frizzies. I was absolutely over the moon totally with how much my hair changed after using the Monat. And like I said, at first when she brought it to me or sent it to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel obligated. Sorry, Cass, you're now finding out how I really felt. But I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obligated to use this. And what happens if I don't like it? I mean, she's over the moon about these products and I might not like it, but she's selling it. So where does that put me? I don't want to disappoint her. Thank God. Oh my gosh, she was absolutely right. So Cass, I will not distrust your products suggestions again. I'm sorry I doubted you for the wee bittest of the moment. But if y'all haven't tried the Monat, you really, really need to. And I'm not just saying that because my sister sells it. It's absolutely amazing. Another product you heard me talk about with masks, etc., is this is an overnight cream facial mask. It's honeydew and chamomile. I got this at CVS and Oh my gosh, I really liked it. So it was just, it did hydrate, it did feel good for, and it is for dry skin. I typically will actually, um, even though I have oily skin, I will actually lean towards dry skin products because I do want the dry skin products to really moisturize and get into my skin while I sleep overnight. And then I wash my face in the morning and do kind of, again, a very light, I need something very light because my skin is um, oily. But when I go to bed, I really like using products more for dry skin. I know that seems counterintuitive, but my face just feels so much better in the morning. With that said, this overnight cream facial mask is a definite must have from CVS. Loved it. Okay, here's a product that absolutely disappointed me. In fact, this product is basically full because it was so disappointing. The Milk Makeup Blur. Watched a, um, someone on YouTube, absolutely love her videos. Uh, she's pretty spot on with how the foundation, is, when it works on her, it basically works on me. This was the first foundation that it didn't do that. So I do follow other YouTubers that have similar skin, similar um, colors as I do to see how their skin reacts to these different products. And hands down, this other YouTuber is spot on for me. I don't know, did I get a bad one? Because this thing was horrible on my skin. So yeah, it's basically full, will not use this again, and it's gonna be tossed out as soon as this video is over. One of the other loves that I have is from Rodan and Fields. It's the Redefine PM Overnight Restorative Cream. 
I do have a video on the Rodan and Fields that I can link below. It is more of an expensive product, so it is not as, uh, it is very expensive to be honest with you, but I do like how this performs. I will go away and I'll try inexpensive products and then I'm like, Ugh, they're just not performing the same as Rodan and Fields. So then I make myself go ahead and purchase more. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I ever try anything else? But because the price is steep, I typically will go try something else and then I come right back to this. So this is a high standard. It's, it sets the bar high. And yes, I do go cheat on it to find something a little less expensive and I just can't find anything that, that does as great as this. So if you haven't tried Rodan and Fields and you don't mind dropping some serious coin, you need to try it because the products are amazing, off the hook, amazing. Your skin will look and feel better than it ever has before. And they know it. That's why they charge as much as they do. Okay, so then we have the Tarte Shape Tape. A lot of people love this. I loved it until I found Catrice. Catrice has a waterproof that is very brightening and for $6.99. So I did go ahead and finish using the Tarte Shape Tape because it's, you know, it's pricier. And I did like it, I really, really did. But I like saving money on products that do just as well. And if they're inexpensive, then that frees up money for me to go spend elsewhere. <laughs> so I did like the Tarte Shape Tape, but I did find a dupe that is a lot less expensive. And I can probably put that uh, video in down below. I did get the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Wasn't sure how I feel about this. You know, it's kind of the cream contour sticks. I've just kind of shied away from, for the most part. One of my friends sent me, another YouTuber sent me a one from NYX, and that got me absolutely hooked. So, thank you. But, then I was given this, and I can't remember where I came across this. It might have been in one of those freebie kind of things, and I love this. So the Hula Quickie Contour Stick does a fantastic job, and then I would kind of put the, the contour uh, powder over the top, but NYX has a dupe, and NYX kicks tail in price compared to the Hula. So the Hula... Would I purchase again, it again? I would have had I not tried the NYX. Um, now that I have the NYX, would I purchase the Hula again? Probably not, but if I got my hands on this because it was free or back in a, one of those um, packages or a trial box or whatever, I'm gonna be totally off the moon excited because it is a great product. It's just NYX has one that's a lot less expensive and I like a lot less expensive. The next product that I do like and I will purchase again is the Catrice Glam and Doll uh, Volume Mascara Waterproof. I typically have to do a waterproof underneath my eyes for uh, summer. Right now I can use the Marc Jacobs both above and below because it's winter so that's fine. But during summer I'll start getting because my bottom lashes are so long, I'll start looking like a little raccoon. So I will go ahead and uh, use this little bad boy. So once it starts heating back up, this will be repurchased for sure. So I do love these products. The thing though that I found with Catrice is it's kind of hit and miss. Um, I've tried several, several of their products. They're either really, really good or maybe the products just don't work on me. So I do, hands down, love this. Again, I mentioned their brightening under eye bit, and they also have a foundation that works amazing. In fact, the Catrice foundation is the one that I use almost every single day, and I have it on today. It's my just kind of daily go-to. That way I can keep my next favorite foundation kind of off to the side that is more pricey, and that's the Marc Jacobs. So, this one is my go-to if I'm going out to an event, maybe I um, uh, have a special date with the hubs, or maybe I just need 
kind of a flawless look for a long, long period of time. That's where I'll pick up this Marc Jacobs, and it is fantastic. And yes, I've repurchased that because I love it. Going back to a mascara, since I got kind of sidetracked there for a moment, is two of them. Um, one is the Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes. I found this one from a YouTuber, tried it. This color's in black vinyl. It is an amazing mascara until I tried the Marc Jacobs. And then I've not repurchased the Charlotte Tillsbury, but I have repurchased Marc Jacobs, as I mentioned earlier. But if you want a drugstore mascara that works fantastic also, this Lash Sensational by Maybelline, I have bought over and over and over again. So I would highly recommend this one. This one came from a YouTuber by the name of Sabrina the Makeup Mom. Absolutely, hands down, she recommended this and this was fantastic for a drugstore version. So what else do I got in this little bad boy? Oh, here it is. This was the Catrice Liquid uh, camouflage high coverage concealer that's waterproof that I've talked about. I have repurchased this. This is my go-to now that I, it's more inexpensive than the Tarte Shape Tape. Oh, I always say sharp taste tape. But that one I highly recommend. Okay, so one in one of my boxes for subscription, I've got the Vital Protein Marine Collagen. It's a dietary supplement for hair, skin, and nails. Uh, jump, jumps joints and bones. It's unflavored. I did use this. So if this was something that I wanted to keep in my diet program, I actually probably would. It doesn't taste. It doesn't have a weird, um, what do you call it? Uh, not flavor, but feel on your tongue. You know, sometimes these kind of things will turn a weird consistency and this didn't so it was almost kind of freaky because i couldn't feel it and i couldn't taste it so i wondered did it work i don't know i don't know but i did try it okay and then my last bit that was kind of a bummer for me was by charlotte tillsbury i found this from a youtuber that spoke very highly of it for me just wasn't that great is the unisex healthy glow all year hydrating summer tint moisturizer i don't know if i just didn't use it right or if it just didn't work with my skin i don't know but i was absolutely over the moon excited about ordering this because of how flawless it was supposed to make your face look blah 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 i get it and it's like uh not that big of a deal so was absolutely kind of bummed about that because of the price i was just the price and then kind of some of the youtube world saying how fantastic this was i get it and i'm like okay i just spent a lot of money for nothing exciting or whatever so anyways that was kind of a bummer for me but again maybe i just didn't use it right or maybe it just my skin was like eh we didn't really like this. We're used to being white. We don't need a suntan. But anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodness, it was a long one. I did have a lot of products to go through. I hope these kind of empties help you decide, do you want to purchase these products? Do you want to try them? Or maybe, I don't know, if you have skin types similar to mine, maybe it's just not that exciting. So hope you got a lot out of this video. Please put your questions, thoughts, um, below. I'd love to hear from my YouTube audience. It's y'all are just, I've met some amazing, amazing people through YouTube. So again, I want to thank y'all for being a part of the family. And with that said, you have a choice. So make it a great one until next time.